played Gears of War 2's Horde mode, or Call of Duty World at War's Zombies, then you know just how much fun teaming up with a few friends to fight endless waves of enemies can be. Halo is set to get its own version in this fall's ODST, aptly named Firefight. Today, we'll take a look at three of the ten Firefight maps and give you a rundown on what to expect out of this brand new mode. Survival is the name of the game in Firefight. You and up to three friends will team up to see how long you can last against increasingly difficult, randomly generated waves of Covenant forces. You've got a shared pool of seven lives, and since you're playing as an ODST and not a Spartan, you can expect your health bar and shield to not go as far as you're used to. If you can survive five waves of enemies, capped off with a troop of Brute Chieftains, you'll get a few lives back and you'll find extra health packs and weapons to use. Of course, you'll also get a new skull turned on. Each round, comprised of five waves, has its own skull turned on to make things that much more difficult. The game starts with a tough luck skull, causing enemies to dodge your grenades with uncanny ability. It only gets more difficult from there, leading up to the bonus round where every skull gets turned on. Survive 15 waves to get that luxury. Alpha Sight is my favorite of the three maps I've tried out. It's set inside the Oni Complex in New Mombasa, but its open air design leaves for plenty of places for the Covenant to drop in. Even so, there are plenty of spaces for the squad to hole up, and it's pretty easy to funnel the Covenant forces into choke points. Security Zone is the biggest firefight map yet unveiled. It takes place in an outdoor area where the players spawn at the top of a hill. You can expect a Wraith tank to drop in at the bottom, which makes things rather difficult given the fact that some of the cover scattered around is destructible. It's important for the group to stay in constant communication here. The massive map's size makes it easy to spread out, and that means trouble. Crater at Night is a great showcase for the ODST's special night vision goggles. This alternate viewing mode highlights enemies as well as weapons, giving the player much more than a simple boost in lighting. This is a small map shaped unsurprisingly like a crater. It's tempting to run down into the pit to confront the Covenant head-on, but savvy players will stick to the outer ring and rain down fire mercilessly. Crater at Night has one other surprise. Here we've run into the Engineer Unit. This Covenant critter has been mentioned in the fiction and appeared in Halo Wars, but this is the first time facing off against humans in a bungee-made game. These guys will actually provide an overshield to every Covenant unit in their immediate vicinity. If two show up, they'll shield each other. If two show up and you have a swarm of drones flying around, well, good luck. Halo 3 ODST comes with a second disc that includes every Halo 3 adversarial map ever released. But Firefight Mode is the new hotness. It's dropping in September 22nd, and it will own your nights and weekends, guaranteed. For more on Halo 3 ODST, head to IGN.com.